Okay, after I've uh, put um, the cams into the simulator and I got all my data, um, um, we, we're going to graph the motion. So I'm going to uh, use an eccentric cam that I did, and uh, my nominal diameter was 3, so I'm going to put that in there so I can keep track of that. I'm going to highlight, so the angle of rotation, here's the height of the uh, follower, the top of the follower, here's the height of, to the bottom of the uh, follower. So I'm going to highlight all of this uh, data here. I'm going to insert a chart. Um, I want to come down and pick a scatter chart. And um, this is all good um, the way it is. Um, I want to, let's go to customize, chart style. I can do um, maybe the background color. Um, chart axis and titles, uh, chart title. Um, we're going to do, uh, um, we'll just call it eccentric cam uh, n equals 3, or d, I guess, equals 3. Um, horizontal axis title is the uh, the uh, angle of rotation. Vertical axis title is the, we'll just call it the height. Um, that's good. Um, legend, let's put it on the right. Okay, so we have something like this. Um, series. Uh, we want to do a trend line, or no? We don't need a we don't need a trend line for this. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably good enough. I think that's all I need for that. So I'll put this over here. Okay, all right. So um, then what we want to do is we want to find what was our maximum height of the follower. So I'm going to uh, um, highlight uh, these. Actually, I'm going to click in this box here. I'm going to do equals and start typing in max. Get the max right there. And then we'll highlight, um, highlight these. Okay, and then I'm going to do equals min, select min, and highlight these. So I'm going to get my max, my maximum, my minimum, and then I can do equals uh, this minus this, and I get a return. So my maximum displacement between my the the lowest the follower ever got and the highest the follower ever got, which would basically be from uh, like here up to here here up to here um, was 1.5 uh, inches. And that was for the nominal diameter of a three. That was mine, the one I did. So I'm going to do equals uh, this cell right here. So what you're going to do down here is you're going to get, um, so you didn't have to do all four cams at all different four not nominal diameters. You were just given one of them. So your teammates um, were given, they all had to make this cam also, but with different nominal diameters. So you need to go ask them what they got for their maximum displacement. And um, I'll go ahead and uh, put in, let's see, this was like 0.75, um, this was 1, and this was a 1.25. Okay, so I got all the maximum displacements for the different nominal diameters, and I actually want to uh, graph that. So I'm going to get that, insert a chart, uh, we want, again, a scatter chart. Um, I'm going to click, I want to click uh, use column A as labels. Okay. Um, I'll go to customize, chart style. can do maybe a background color, um, chart axis title, uh, vertical, or a chart title. Um, we're going to, this is the eccentric cam. Um, 
max displacement versus D. And I'll just say nominal diameter. Horizontal axis title is nominal diameter. Vertical axis title is um, max displacement. Good for that. Um, legend, we don't need a legend. Series, this is where we want to actually put a trend line on. And we also want to come down to R squared value to see how linear it was. It's very linear. R squared equals 1. Um, custom, we want to put the use an equation. Okay. Um, so we got an equation be y equals 0.5x. The y-intercept is 0 there. So um, actually, let's go back up to uh, legend, or go down to legend, and let's put it on the right side. There we go. Okay, I also want to go down the horizontal axis, and let's put some minimum and max. So the minimum value could be zero, and the maximum value. Um, let's go up to. Let's put up in a nominal diameter of four. No one, we didn't go that high, but let's just put that in there, so we can kind of extrapolate both ways. Um, vertical axis, let's put in a zero, and uh, maximum. What, what, would the, uh, what would the maximum displacement be if you had a nominal diameter of four? Well, you can see from the equation here that um, for, every, for every nominal diameter jump from two to three to three to four, um, the slope is, is half. So if I was at a four, um, so I went from a 2 to a 3, it went from a 1 to a 1.5. So I go from a 3 to a 4, it's going to go 1.5 to a 2. So I'm going to put a 2 in there, and so I can kind of extrapolate um, outwards. So this is what that, that's what this equation means. The mathematical modeling here says that for every um, inch of nominal diameter you increase it by, you'll create, you'll do a maximum displacement of your follower by half an inch. So that might be a value, valuable um, later on. So I can kind of shrink that down there, put that in there, and uh, I think that's probably all I need. And uh, you, you're you going to need to do this um, for your other, so we'll click on your Paracam and then your Snail Cam and your Hex Cam, um, and you can uh, do that for your other four graphs, um, other four cams in this project.